microorganisms introduction to microorganisms many living organisms such as plants animals and humans are large enough to be seen with the naked eye other living organisms are so small that we need a powerful microscope to see them such living things are called microscopic organisms or microorganisms they are also called microbes some microorganisms are useful to us some are harmful and some have no interaction with us either way they can work alone or in groups we'll be getting into the details of that a little later but before that let's quickly take a look at the variety of microorganisms out there there are five types of microorganisms bacteria viruses fungi algae protozoa fungi may not seem like a microorganism to you you can see it growing on bread you can see mushrooms easily too but they come in many sizes the yeast that we put in bread to make it rise is a single celled fungus from that size to the mushrooms you see them all around even algae come in many different sizes seaweed is an algae that you can easily see with your naked eye but there are many single celled algae as well that is why they are in the list of microorganisms did you know that some single celled algae are used in toothpaste bacteria are single celled organisms that means each bacteria is made up of only one cell still they come in different shapes some bacteria are round like a ball some have a spiral shape some have a rod shape bacteria can cause diseases like typhoid and tuberculosis protozoa are also single celled organisms they can cause diseases like dysentery and malaria viruses are parasites you know what parasites are they are living things that totally live off other living things so you can guess that viruses can only live inside the cells of other living things they cause a lot of very infectious diseases chickenpox measles conjunctivitis polio flu and even cough and cold are some of the diseases that viruses spread viruses are the smallest of all microorganisms you can only see them with a very very powerful microscope microorganisms like amoeba can live alone while fungi and bacteria live in colonies why are we studying microorganisms because they are found everywhere they are in the soil in the air in the water on your skin and even everywhere inside your body most of the time when they are in the right place the majority of microorganisms are not harmful to people and often do a lot of good such as breaking down waste and making bread we couldn't live without them the most important fact is that they make up the largest number of living organisms on the planet there aren't millions billions or trillions there are trillions of trillions of trillions of microbes around the earth maybe more there are so many different types of microorganisms or microbes that scientists still don't really know how many there are but they do know that microorganisms do lots of different things there are good microbes that are used in food 
others that are used in medicine and more that are used to clean up the environment. There aren't many bad microbes, but they make you sick or cause rot or destruction. What did we just learn? Microorganisms are of five types. Bacteria, viruses, fungi, algae and protozoa. Many microorganisms are useful to us. Some microorganisms can cause diseases.